Hello dear students, welcome to the class on Opiate Analgesics. In this class, let's learn about fentanyl and Rami fentanyl, which are the methadone congeners. So coming to the fentanyl, so fentanyl is a methadone congener, which is having potent action. So fentanyl is more potent than morphine in producing analgesic action. And there are a few cardiovascular side effects like they reduces the cardiac contractility as well as heart rate marginally and it produces respiratory depression similar to morphine and it has got low this is very very important it has got low propensity to cause histamine release compared to morphine so it has got high lipid solubility so thereby it uh, can be given through a IV route where the dose into the brain uh, will be entering very rapidly so thereby the peak analgesic action will be produced within 5 minutes and the duration of action is very short and uh, the actions or the effects will wear off after 30 to 40 minutes the reason being because of the redistribution so what are the uses through the injectables it can be used exclusively uh, with anesthesia and transdermal fentanyl can be used for treating cancer or terminal illness pains as well as any other chronic pains and uh, the other formulation uh, of fentanyl is the buccal formulation remember they are not available in the form of oral formulation and the elimination tea of is around 4 hours so coming to the uses of fentanyl so you know that it is a potent opioid analgesics it is used along with anesthetics as a to supplement anesthetic in balanced anesthesia thereby it lowers the anesthetic uh, dose which is required and also maintains the proper hemodynamic stability fentanyl can be combined with benzodiazepines for diagnostic use endoscopic use angiographic use and also for burns dressing so it can be used as an adjunct in the spinal anesthesia nerve block anesthesia as well as post-operative pain so remember that it has to be administered through intravenous 2 to 4 microgram per kg so the main drawback is it produces drowsiness but not but the patient will be conscious so remember it produces drowsiness but patient will be conscious thereby it leads to the risk of anesthetic awareness uh, which is a dreadful recall so apart from that there is uh, these fentanyl as marked respiratory depression so this respiratory depression can be predictable in nature and also encourages the breathe on commands so it requires a ventilatory support and also it produces muscle rigidity so it produces chest muscle rigidity therefore whenever you are using fentanyl it requires the administration of muscle relaxant injections too so coming to the ramifentanyl, the ramifentanyl is a faster acting congener of uh, fentanyl. So we can remember the, the mnemonic by the words which are present in ramifentanyl. R stands for it has got rapid action, rapid metabolism and it has got respiratory depression. So rapid action and rapid metabolism is mainly due to the presence of plasma as well as tissue esterase which produces rapid metabolization and it produces M for muscle spasm, especially the chest muscle spasm and I, it can be given through IV bolus or IV infusion. So F stands for it has got faster, it is a faster acting congener of fentanyl which acts within 1 to 2 minutes and its action fades off within 10 to 15 minutes and its elimination is not dependent on the any diseases like liver as well as kidney and uh, there won't be any alteration needed with the dose in case of any disease with respect to liver as well as the kidney and this ramifentanil can be used for uh, conditions where it requires cytoval actions and whenever there is a quick recovery is needed and it produces analgesic action and uh, it doesn't produce uh, any change in the duration of action when it is given through the IV infusion route or if the dose is uh, prolonged and it has a shorter duration of action as well as it is mainly indicated in short duration painful procedures thank you